I'm happy to see a lot of people here are playing games. And uh, the big point I would like to make in this presentation is uh, requires some interaction. So first, how many designed a little piece of curriculum, even maybe one activity for kids at some point? Just anything? Or for adults? Or a learning piece, basically. Okay, a lot of people. How many designed the game? Um, quite a few people still. So the big point I want to make is that we have two roles as specialists. We need to design good games ourselves, but we need to share the love and help everybody design their own. Uh, we, uh, we have to help kids make their own and other educators as well. And this is a difficult task. Everybody who will talk about games or who talked about games said how hard it is to make good games with good mechanics. Uh, helping others make games is uh, also very challenging. So I'd like to uh, talk about being more sophisticated in how we view games. If you go online and search for something called math game, uh, what you find will may disappoint or it may be a happy find, but uh, we need to go beyond uh, just, uh, just these reactions into much more uh, complicated taxonomies so that we can support games in this social networks of learners and creators and makers. And for that we need this rich metadata in games, about games, and we need to be able to talk about games in complex ways. So this is, uh, Richard talked about it, uh, and uh, I, I'm sure other people will too. Um, this is a quest for everybody, not just professionals. When kids design games, they need to be able to do it. When teachers design games, they need to be able to do it. Um, we are getting better in the last uh, five years or so with matching games to topics and levels. Um, quality is still a challenge and it's hard. Probably will be a challenge for a while. Um, so, it helps to ask simple things first, maybe, but these are not simple things. A five-year-old would ask that about game. Uh, can we answer? My point is, if I asked this in this room, we probably would have a war. We would not agree. <laughs> Uh, we, so I am not calling for asking this question of everybody and reaching a consensus, but rather every working group or every class um, tackling this and making their own definitions and then approaching games from these definitions uh, so uh, they can start working. So this is my uh, shot at uh, unpacking this one of the hard questions, what is math or is this game math? So uh, the big point here is that computational calculation, procedural things go together into one system with conceptual and then motivational actions. And uh, we have a taxonomy that balances them all together within one ecosystem. We need to integrate different aspects. And uh, these are based on some uh, education research and gaming research. So I do want to be brief. So I'll, I'll just mention some of these <coughs> categories we've been looking at with colleagues about uh, sorting games. For example, um, this is about uh, whether users make their own or they're basically intellectual consumers and uh, there are in-between gradations. There are intrinsic mechanics that connect to uh, mathematics, and then extrinsic mechanics that help with time management, uh, motivation, task management. They are also useful, so we may want both. Um, so I do want to talk more about mechanics um, briefly. And, uh, Mechanics are in-game actions that are metaphors for mathematical actions. Uh, and uh, 
these are intrinsic mechanics again. So for example, uh, sharing is a metaphor for division. Now, and I like, uh, when I design, I like to name mechanics after games I like. It may be a bit easier this way to make games out of pieces of other games rather than abstract mechanics. And what are this good for? Why are we talking about mechanics? Well, going to that grail, go from the topic to the game. This is on Mars. That's one of the biggest rifts in the solar system. So, and my personal favorite, uh, Valles Marineris. So the topic to game rift is large. It's hard to jump it in one leap, but if you analyze it like this, you can build a bridge. You can go from a topic to the actions that correspond to that topic. From actions, you can go to in-game actions if you figure out the mechanics. If you have a good taxonomy of mechanics, you can do it quickly. And then from actions to game is just a step. Thank you.